thousand, the RPM is really high. So this car wants you to drive uh, faster than three thousand. So you have to keep going, keep going. If not, you can hear your ear. Give you, I'll give you an example. Finding the gear point. Back, so we no power steering, no power steering, just one problem. It wants you to go faster. Just love that raw, original Porsche sound. See, <laughs> air cool, eh? air cool all the way. And you know what? You don't have to worry about overheating so much. But please warm the car before you drive out. Because if not, you know, the oil is too thick for you to be driving the car. Ideally above 60 degrees. It's not like your normal RX-8 or your rotaries where you warm up the car first, you know. Let the vacuum... There's no vacuum in this car. Just pure panaskan the engine oil, jalan. And of course, you have everything mechanical. Everything's perfect, including the gears. Gearbox is very durable. It's a very old classic gearbox from from Porsche itself, of course, 1982. So they have various uh, models. They got the Type ABC and so forth, all to the RSR, 1989. Then after that, they came out with the 964. <laughs> have here is you have your fuel tank gauge your oil tam and then after that uh, sorry this is the what yeah, this is water tam and then this is the drug press and then after that your your rpm speedometer and for your you know miles per hour and kilometer per hour and your clock this is a classic part about Porsche you know this whole uh, console area I really like this idea where it's driver focused what is this for this is my my engine tam so normally, right, this is from the engine itself because it runs on 14 litre of engine oil so it's best to be operated under six, uh, above 60 degrees so now this is kind of fine so if it does go above 120, I don't really bother because the you know you have all the engine oil to be air-cooled you know, the car itself is air-cooled so it's fantastic air-con still work, it's a so the RPM drops, so you can see this is a 0 ampere testing 5.1 ampere, so this is why I installed this car you don't have that in this car 
So it's running on 5.1 ampere at 12.9 watt volts. Sorry. So this is my heads-up display in case I can't see this at night. So if I don't want it, I'll just unplug that. That's it. So generally everything is straightforward. Uh, you have all the lights, everything is over here. You know, buttons like that, knobs, uh, heaters which we don't use, uh, dimmers, uh, all the the to open the hood is all over there. The boot is behind where you're sitting right now. This target top is handled by these two bars. I mean, these levers. They have to lift it up. I have to close it properly because it will, you know, the oil will start leaking. As you can see, the car has uh, seat embedded is. And uh, yeah, this is the door lock. Classic. With it. I can see it. Can you see it? Too dark. It's too dark. Yeah, I'm dark. Sorry. No, the lever is too dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a uh, lever and circle. This is where you control your windows. Right? This is where you control all the windows. And in back in the day, this car was uh, just meant for you to drive uh, and enjoy. You have, don't have a lot of fancy gadgets and things like that. You have to be careful with this car because this car has a throttle, you got torque steer, you don't have stability control, nothing, nada. Neil. And this car runs on 95 because back then you didn't have 95, you probably had 82, 85. So 97 will do nothing to your car. 95 is way good enough. So full tank is probably about I don't know 150 bucks. Big tank. That's about it. Yeah, I'm struggling without both steering. All right. So for this Porsche, everything's on the left side. Or opposite side, I can make it. So, um, if you want to open the hood, oh well, that's the hood, that's the trunk. <laughs> so, you open the trunk, just, oh, that's the fuel cap, sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, but that's the hood, that, that's the, the boot. Hood. This is the yeah. trunk. Trunk. Good well, good. the hood. you have all the car parts here just in case something breaks down right. so you have your bulb and I have my leaf pass in there so be, don't be freaked out there's a leaf pass inside there it just, I just saw it running behind here hey friend where are you? Very cute. Yeah, I don't know so of course we have a tow hook because this car is uh, you know the black, uh, the black tow hook jumper jumper everything's here so typically this car has power leaks right so what you gotta do this is installed so what I do is I'll turn it off now no more power so no more power leak see that indicates my power supply now the whole car is on back now I turn it off so you have your wall switch for this car <laughs> right so this uh, strut bar is uh, custom right so the stabilizer does work, does help, but this car will top steer and oversteer. Yes. If you guys can tell, this uh, paint has been was not done by a normal you know, car painter. So the painter actually paints airplanes, and it costs more than five digits somewhere in the, in that figure to actually make this happen. So you can see there is no, you know. Uh, there is no orange peel and this is your back in the day it was 82 and 85 Ron that's it like your lorry <laughs> that's it I have to literally hold it I can't go all the way in so that's pretty much it 
So kalau abang-abang di situ di rumah nak tahu minyak macam mana tak mahal. Benda lain mahal. <laughs> So guys, please like, share and subscribe if you like the show, right? And then uh, hopefully we can get to see more good cars. See you guys.